Now, the news from the Voice of America. Three million protest in Egyptian capital. Report says U.S. spied on European allies. I'm Christopher Cruz reporting live from the VOA News Center in Washington. Three million people gathered in Tahrir Square in the Egyptian capital Cairo on Sunday, demanding the resignation of President Mohamed Morsi. Activists accused Mr. Morsi of trying to monopolize power in the hands of his Muslim Brotherhood movement. And they say he is pushing a religious agenda while failing to fix the struggling Egyptian economy. The demonstrations were largely peaceful, but scattered violence after nightfall left at least one person dead and 40 injured as a crowd firebombed the Cairo headquarters of the Muslim Brotherhood. Our man in Cairo, Edward Uranian, reports on the huge protests, which came on the first anniversary of Mr. Morsi's inauguration. Crowds swelled throughout the afternoon as demonstrators arrived from across the city. Top opposition leaders Mohamed El Barade and Amr Musa marched along with supporters from outlying districts into the already overflowing crowd in Tahrir Square. Army helicopters circled over the city center, drawing periodic applause from those below. A smaller crowd of Morsi supporters demonstrated for the third consecutive day in front of the Roba Adawiya Mosque near the presidential palace. Muslim clerics told the crowd the president was legitimately elected and must not be toppled by street crowds. Edward Uranian for VOA News, Cairo. President Obama says the United States is going to increase its dealings with Africa. He spoke Sunday at the University of Cape Town in South Africa. The VOA senior White House correspondent Dan Robinson was there. He reports Mr. Obama had harsh words for some African leaders. The president spoke of a historic shift in Africa from poverty to a growing middle class with fewer people dying of preventable disease but still threatened by the rot of corruption and conflict. But it's not moving fast enough for the child still languishing in poverty in forgotten townships. It's not moving fast enough for the protester who's beaten in Harare or the woman who's raped in Eastern Congo. We've got more work to do because these Africans must not left, be left behind. Mr. Obama called South Africa an example of the difference between freedom and tyranny, saying governments should exist to serve their people and not the other way around. Mr. Obama said the United States is interested in investing not in strong men, but in strong institutions and supports open and accountable governments, independent judiciaries and societies that empower women. Dan Robinson, VOA News with President Obama in Cape Town. Mr. Obama and his family leave South Africa early Monday for Tanzania, the final stop on his three-nation Africa tour. Officials in Senegal have detained the former dictator of Chad, Hussein Habre. Mr. Habre ruled Chad from 1982 to 1990 when he was ousted by a military coup. He's facing charges of crimes against humanity. Multiple bomb blasts killed at least 41 people across Pakistan Sunday. In the southwestern city of Quetta, a suicide bomber targeted an area near a Shiite Muslim mosque, killing 20 people and wounding at least 60. The German news magazine Der Spiegel is reporting that an American spy agency placed electronic listening devices in European Union offices. The report also says the agency got into the EU's computer networks. American Secretary of State John Kerry has finished days of separate talks with Israeli and Palestinian leaders about restarting peace negotiations. The BOA's Scott Bob is traveling with Mr. Kerry. Secretary Kerry concluded four days of shuttle diplomacy Sunday, saying some very wide gaps have been narrowed in the positions of Israel and the Palestinians. 
we have made real progress on this trip. And I believe that with a little more work, uh, the start of final status negotiations could be within reach. He said some specific details remain to be worked out, but he had been impressed with the seriousness of the parties and remains confident that they are on the right track. Scott Bob, VOA News, Jerusalem. The European Union has a new member. At one minute past midnight local time, Croatia became the 28th member country. Thousands of people are celebrating across the country. That's the news at this hour from The Voice of America. There's more on these and other stories from around the world, around the clock, at voanews.com. I'm Christopher Cruz, VOA News, Washington.